All right, so, um, you know, wireless on Linux can be a little bit of a chore, I guess. Sometimes it can be a little bit wonky, but for the most part, um, you know, it's it's pretty uh, reliable, you know what I mean? Uh, a lot of open source drivers work just fine now, and um, this particular one, I believe, uses a RHEL link or a RHEL tech or what do you call it, a, a chipset. And for the most part, uh, it works very, very well, but every so often, um, it just drops, you know what I mean? And it's starting to get a little bit annoying, so I, I decided to look elsewhere. And if you know what this is, this is basically just a USB Wi-Fi dongle. Um, it works out of the box. You plug it in, uh, the kernel detects it right away, and, and uh, you're just good to go. So it's cool, but like I said, it does tend to drop every so often. So um, pretty much I just bought this, which is a PCI uh, Express, I think, or the mini PCI or whatever, uh, Wi-Fi chipset, and it has a little, uh, you know, a uh, little... Uh, I don't know what you call those things, but uh, you know, for your your antenna, I guess. So I'm gonna be installing this and giving it a go. And pretty much, I think this chipset is a Arthos. Arthos. I hope I'm saying that right. I I have a habit of mispronouncing a lot of stuff. So. So yeah, and it says a product of China, and and it took about a month and a half to get over here. So, it took a while. So uh, anyways, uh, let me go ahead and install this and uh, see how it goes. All right, so I just installed it. Uh, let's turn the light for you. Oh, geez, there it is. So it's real small, not in the way of anything. There's a lot of space between the video card and you know what I mean. Um, so, anyways, that's it. It's, like I said, it's really easy. Just one screw, and there's a back portion for the uh, antenna, and I'll be putting it on right now, and uh, I'll be back. All right, so here's the back side. Got the antenna installed. You know, it's a uh, wired it's uh actually you can move it around so i'm gonna show you what it looks like right now it's a levino uh, antenna looks like little rabbit ears i guess um one thing kind of that's kind of sucky about it is that the cord that it that it comes with is kind of kind of short but um this thing is actually a uh, magnetic see what i mean you can kind of put it wherever you want and uh yeah hopefully i won't drop any uh signals now so i guess i'll go ahead and uh and uh log into the desktop be right back. Okay, so I'm back on the desktop now, and um, I've actually had this thing, you know, installed for a while now, for about like four days or, or already, uh, just to give it like a, you know, a good, um, uh, I don't know, like a good test run, I guess. And um, so far, it's it's been really good. I haven't hasn't dropped a single at all. You know, I mean, it's been very strong. I mean, I have a full, you know, five or six bars or whatever. That's probably most likely because, um, as you saw in the video uh, previously, how I had the antenna mounted on top of the. Uh, the desktop um, that's where I have it right now because the cord isn't long enough to put on top of my desk or anything but for it being down there um, it still gets a signal you know what I mean and um, anyways let me open up a terminal real quick uh, where you at? there you are so you can kind of see the it's you know LS PCI or whatever you can kind of see the chipset somewhere here it is right here so what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, in the description down below, I will uh, uh, find um, like an Amazon link or wherever. I actually got off of eBay, but um, I, I did find it on Amazon. So if you guys are interested in something like this that actually works out of the box and works very, very well, um, it's about, I think, like $17, $20 or so. Also, I'll post the, uh, the other one that I had, the uh, D-Link. Um, I think for me, at least, um, the problem I had with the D-Link was... was um, before I got this uh, this new uh, PCI uh, uh, Wi-Fi card, my computer was actually in a different spot in my room, and I think this little USB device was having a really you know a hard time picking up a signal. But other than that, it, it does work out of the box. So I'll put a link to to that as well, and um, that's it. So, anyways, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later.